James Redford's energy documentary is illuminating. James Redford's Happening, A Clean Energy Revolution is a documentary. It's subtitled Following One Man's Journey to Discover the Leading Edge of Energy Solutions. It's on HBO on Monday. Writer, producer, director, chair of an environmental center, New York educated, Utah conditioned, he's traveled America pioneering clean energy. He knows Al Gore, stems from environmental parents, and his father's another guy named Redford, of whom you may have heard. James, once it was horses and buggies. Recently it was 2,000 electric cars. Now 1.3 million. I drive one. In 10 years, we'll have another million. And how electricity is made will change. We pay to light our homes. We touch a light bulb and burn a finger. No more. Utility companies are perfecting wind turbines, and solar power which in future will turn on our lights. We'll move around cleaner, safer, cheaper and foster a new economy by creating new jobs. No more burning coal, fossil fuel or using poisonous stuff to make electricity. Batteries will store wind power. Windmill power is being built offshore. Niagara will furnish hydropower. A grid's crisscrossed opposing wires will generate electricity, and one Brooklyn housing project already okayed a roof compound to store that in batteries. While this future Amon unfolded, I could barely hear his phone call. The background was deafening. People laughing, shouting. He was on the street. Sorry, he said, but I'm on a very tight schedule. So, if I'm not catching everything or understanding everything or knowing anything, and if I don't get everything, don't blame me. Allison Williams, Brian's kid, is doing mighty fairly on her own. Her get out made over $250 million worldwide. Over Chow and Mr. Chow's, she said, I had never done a movie before. Now she has. In Vancouver, she's making something called The Perfection with Girls director Richard Shepard. What's it about? Not going to say. I didn't tell anyone before Get Out came out. I'm not starting now. Down, honorable we're not talking like a secret out of Michael Flynn. Also comes her Showtime miniseries with Benedict Cumberbatch. So how about starting a family with husband Ricky Van Veen? So far we have a dog. In the shape of water, Sally Hawkins plays a cleaning woman nude, she ain't ever going to work for me, and her lover's a man-sized sea urchin. About this nakedness, director Guillermo del Toro says, but we kept the environment safe, respectful, conducive and beautiful. Like why the hell's that mean, they put makeup on her behind? Doug Jones, who plays an interspecies Casanova creature, helped with underwater chivalry, between takes, we held our embrace so no one would gawk at her front side. Sweet. Sort of Sir Walter Raleigh with fins. Co-star Richard Jenkins. Sally's committed to her art. She's an actress down to her toes, which we also see as well as all the other parts. Listen, the monster's nude, too. I've reported that when my colleague Liz Smith left us a while back, International Worldwide Global News Agency Reuters, which doesn't know its asterisk from a hole in the ground, printed her obit with my photo. I'm not knocking them. I applaud their abilities. After Anthony Weiner was photographed featuring a bulge in his drawers, Reuters' caption was Mumps. I only reprise this to say they never apologized, never sent me a note, nothing. And mind, they are a news gathering agency. May their tripe increase. Only happens to me in New York, kids, only in New York.